not to tell her anything. What's up? So, why, uh, my dad took me to the doctors. Okay, and? Well, they said they found something. What do you mean, they found something? Remember when I would always have headaches and I wouldn't feel good? Well, they said it's because of a tumor. A tumor? You mean like cancer? Where? What do you mean where? Like where is it? On my brain. But wait, you said we're gonna be together forever, remember? You said we're gonna grow old together and stuff. I don't know, Brianne. How are we supposed to get old together if you have a tumor? Brianne. You lied to me. Brianne, wait. We're still going to be together. Are you moving? Yeah, I was gonna tell you the other day, but you wouldn't let me. We're moving to Texas for a few months. My dad found a good hospital that would be able to help me get better. He also got a new job. From what he said, we won't be gone forever. He said we'll come back. When are you leaving? <sighs> In a couple days. I have to go finish helping my dad pack. So I'll see you later. about the whole cancer thing. Well, why don't you get her something? How? Remember when I broke my thumb in softball and you brought home a bracelet to make my cast look pretty? Well, that made me feel better. So you're saying I should buy her a bracelet for her cast, but she doesn't even have a broken finger? No, stupid. I'm saying, why not get her something? I don't think a simple apology's gonna cut it. You know, so then she'll have it with her when she goes to Texas. That's a good idea, but what should I get her? Angel. Hey, Brianne. Hey, Alice. Is Melissa home? Yeah, hold on one second. Hey. I wanted to come by and give you something before you left. We always said that we'd be best friends, and I thought this would help you feel better, so... I can't take this. Yes, you can. I bought this for you. No, I can't. How do you think I felt when I came to tell you I had cancer? How do you think I felt when you walked away and made me feel bad? You're supposed to be a friend. And just because you come over with a stupid necklace, you think everything's going to be okay. You're not a friend. You want me to be around forever? Well, I don't want to take this back. Ready? Here we go.
phone. Hi. Listen, can I talk to you outside for a minute? Okay. Come on. Thank you for coming. Before Melissa passed, she wanted to make a will. And a will is something that people do to let other people know what to do with their stuff. And she left something special for you. She did? I didn't think she liked me anymore. Uh, she was very sad for a couple of weeks. But she always, always talked about you, the good times that you had together, places that you went. I just want to thank you very much for all the wonderful memories that you gave her and, and that I want you to know that you made it easier for her to pass. Well, she left you this. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Brianne's house to tell her I have a tumor, but she got mad and left. I cried for hours that night. I wish I didn't feel so alone. I haven't been feeling so good today. I feel dizzy and sick. Brianne came over today. I got really mad at her and said things I didn't mean. When I went back in the house, I sat in the window and watched her cry. It made me cry too. I feel so bad. I love Brienne. She's my best friend. After she left, I went outside to grab the necklace off the door handle. I was hoping she would come back. I felt too sick to run after her. We're moving today. I feel horrible. I wish Brianne was here. I hope I get to see her before we leave. I don't think I can live like this anymore. I'm in so much pain. The doctors take needles in me a lot, and it's always hard to breathe. All the chemo made me lose all my hair. I know I won't be living much longer. Brianne, if you're reading this, I want to say I'm sorry. And I want you to know that I never took that necklace off after I found it on the door. I hope you will remember all our fun and happy times. Like when we made a sunflower house out of sunflowers, or playing hide and seek, or even running through the sprinklers together. My dad said to me that I will always be there with you, even if I'm not physically there. I believe him, and so should you. Always together forever, I kept my promise. I'm writing you to tell you that it's gonna be okay Wherever you decide to lay your head, I'll be with you someday 
You know it brings me comfort That you're not the one who's scared And I know it's almost time now But I feel so unprepared And even when you're gone I'll remember everything you taught me You're the special bond The voice I'll always hear but not see And even when you're gone I'll be stronger with what each day brings I know you're looking on As you're trying on your angel wings I never will forget you You're a handprint on the heart And I'll smile when I think of you Cause you've been there from the start I'll try to go on living Cause I know that life goes on But it's never really over No, you're never really gone And even when you're gone I'll remember everything you taught me You're the special bond The voice I'll always hear but not see even when you're gone I'll be stronger with what each day brings I know you're looking on As you're trying on your age